So we are in uh, EAA's Pilot Proficiency Center. So it's a part of the education center. So the Pilot Proficiency Center is really a unique place. We've got 12 Redbird LD Advanced Aviation Training Devices. Uh, we've got a Crossman Trainer in here. We've got classroom space behind there. So this is kind of the epicenter for EAA's flight proficiency programs. We come in here and we leverage the technology we have with the training devices. Sometimes it's us on our own creating those things. Sometimes it's working and collaborating with partners in industry like Redbird or Community Aviation, some of these other folks that come in and help us really take it to that next level. So it's kind of a place that um, we really strive toward unique uniqueness and quality in what we put together. Incorporating some sort of training device into personal proficiency plan, uh, we feel is of, uh, is of high value. A lot of the folks that we have come in here and do training with us, a lot of times when we ask them, they'll be like, I didn't realize I could do these types of things. There's those types of things where the value is starting to be perceived in those areas. There's some of that that trickles over into um, training devices that folks would use at home, whether they're using X-Plane or Microsoft. And especially if you're looking at what is the true value of incorporating training devices or simulation into my personal proficiency plan, procedural items, highly perishable skills like avionics, scan. You're in a somewhat of a task-saturated environment, I would say, and I would say task-saturated over just looking at a paper checklist and trying to go through it in your mind. And you're actually doing these things and it's all coming together. There you can start to see how it adds value to maintaining your personal proficiency.